Hello, hello, hello! I am Katie and Keon, and this is our final. Re this is not a final, but this is a another return to Factorio. Um, I'm so I'm sorry, guys. I keep getting obsessed with playing fucking Hell Divers and uh, Phasmophobia with my fa with my friends. So I keep putting off other games, and I, that's what I keep getting busy doing. But I got some time today. I want to get back in. I, I keep wanting to get back into Factorio, so we're going to, and we're doing chemical science. Uh, and I thought about it the other day, and I think we're going to rework this a little bit. Let's see here, this is. What was this one for? Where is that one going? And what was it for? Advanced plastic. That was for plastic. Okay. Gotcha. That one's plastic. Those are going to be the actual chemical science. And the chemical science needs the advanced circuits, which will come from up here. And is that the only thing coming from up here? Yes. Okay. And then down here will be the, I imagine, sulfur and engine units. Got it. Okay. And we've got the engine units already. And we need the sulfur to be on one side. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I'm, I'm seeing again what we're doing. Another attack on the northern group here. Got more than enough defenses to cover us there, though. So we're going to focus down here on the chemical stuff. And I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to feel this out for a little bit first. So that's five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me kind of just... I'm going to just kind of fuck around with it for a little bit and kind of see what's going on. Because this is always going to be producing that. At least for now. Because I know eventually we'll upgrade and get one that outputs three different things. Oh, that's right. Shift. There we go. So let's go ahead then, since we did that. Oops. That's not quite going to work, but we can do this. will work. So like I said, I'm just going to kind of mess around with it a little bit. It's been a very long time since I've done chemical science. So i got to kind of play with it a little bit here to kind of get an idea again of what, what I'm going to need to do. But I think I've got an idea, at least something to get us started. Uh, and then next episode, so I do actually have a plan for next episode automatically. Um, I know I don't usually do that. Surprise. I know I'm terrified too. But um, the plan for next episode is going to be... Why are you not getting... Why are you not hooked up? Oh, there we go. 
that's why. So the plan for next episode is we're going to go through and we're going to rework the power plant. I know we don't exactly need to right now, but um, we're going to anyway. What the frick is... Oh, they're not hooked up to the out... Oh, that's... Okay, I see now. I fucked up and didn't put them on the... There we go. I was starting to get extremely confused. There we are. That should be right. Um, I know, like I... Okay, so we don't really need to necessarily redo uh, the power plant right now. The way the power plant is set up, it's fine. It's providing plenty of power and, uh, you know, it's doing what we need to do. But I want to make it more efficient. Hang on. That so we're pissing only one off from the north. Oh, it just... Okay, I see. I thought there was a second attack coming somewhere. But it doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Oh, great. So that should allow us to... Ah. I've gone and done it again, and I missed it. everybody up and operational and then I did it with the regular pipes just to get it mapped out but obviously I'm going to replace these with underground so we can actually walk through this area without getting jammed up. I need a lot more of these underground ones I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to need a lot more of most things I'm thinking. Um, so the two plans for next episode are to fix the copper situation since our copper mine is starting to wear itself out and to uh, like I said rework the power plant so that way we've got ourselves better better power output overall. resources. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking. Copper mine's going to be running itself out here if that one's done. Oh. Yep, we're still pissing off those guys. But in the last episode, I died. Over and over and over and over. So I don't want to go up there and deal with them again. At least not right now. We'll let them just be a general nuisance. I have no need, desire, or want to go up there and fuck with them when we don't really need to. And... We need more... power poles, but we don't have a hell of a lot of copper plate to work with. Which I'm noticing too is also going to get worse the minute we actually get chemical science up and running, because chemical science is going to use regular, uh, 
regular um, circuit boards to make the advanced circuit boards. I just threw coffee all over my face because I just had to throw the cup back way too hard. Yay, good for me. Ugh, all right. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Doing it to it. Also, 83 subscribers. Holy crap. That is so cool. That is so freaking cool to see. I, I opened up, I, I posted a couple of Hell Diver shorts. And uh, I pulled up my YouTube the other day and I was like, oh my god, I went from like, I think I had like 75 or something and then I'm now at like 83. So I got almost 10 subscribers in just a few days. And that was amazing to me. That was like, wow, okay, that's so cool. Welcome, welcome one and all to the Chronicles of Katie and Keon. The batshit insane madman who's struggle to exist is your entertainment. <laughs> Reality is my machinations or mystery. So, I wasn't paying attention. Did I actually, is the oil run train actually running? Yes, but it's stuck because of the si oh I didn't do signals okay well you know what that's actually kind of vital so we're gonna go fix that right now do I have a bunch of rail signals to work with I've got nine of them that should be enough but I'll make an extra f 10 just to have enough to mess with I didn't real. I forgot yeah I forgot about that the stupid uh See, the funny part about it is, technically, if you time your trains correctly, I've seen actually some pretty impressive ones on YouTube. If you time your trains correctly, you could theoretically do a bunch of trains, not not all, not all, like an absurd number of them, but I think the, the one guy I watched was able to time 10 trains together and get them all to work without signals. Because they would all just run immediately to a location and the location would be isolated from the main track. So the trains theoretically never ran into each other. But it took a hell of a lot of space. Like it took so much space. In uh, like so much of a footprint was needed. And then the other thing was it was just really annoying to get to actually synchronized the way he wanted it to I don't I'm, I'm not gonna do that obviously charge complete but uh it was fascinating to see someone try to try to set up a rail network entirely without signals but because I didn't do that I've got to make sure I have signals because the signals allow the trains to do and go where they need to go and without them the train won't do jack shit squiddly dead that's not how that's said but you know I think you know what I meant jack shit diddly squat that's what I meant to say okay that should allow the train here gonna rapidly fill up with the oil and go back right should leave once full yep there it goes and I think I've got the signals all the way up to the main done. So now this should take us all the way back to the oil plant. Yeah. Boom. Awesome. 
All right, so that problem is now solved. Now we get back to the rest of the problem. So we need power to all of this. And I have no idea what I'm gonna, how I'm going to do this. So I could just make, oh, it needs coal to make plastic. And water, oh, fuck. Sulfuric, I need water and coal to be down here, and then for explosives. Ah, uh, this isn't going to work, is it? Because I don't have enough space. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay, so let's reclaim this. Reclaim these. Whoop! Did not mean to reclaim that. That will be staying put. Reclaim these. And I th what we're going to do instead is... Uh-oh. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Okay, still not ideal, but less horrifying is. So that's probably a base right there, I would guess. If I had to take a wild crack at it. Okay, that guy. Kind of made my heart go because it was like that was not that was not a direction I was expecting to be attacked. That's a problem. All right, so we need to get rid of that stupid pistol. Oh, I don't have enough for a. So if we come down just a little bit further, will that piss him off again? Probably. A bedding right there might be. I'm starting to suspect we're pissing more than one group off now. Because I know we're pissing off the north, but the north is defended. Are, oh, we're probably pissing them off. Wow, they're far away. Okay. Well, that brings a whole new, uh, whole new conundrum to the equation. So, I suppose I could make a flamethrower, but I don't have fuel. I need a rocket launcher too. I'll make that. All right. Well, that uh, frick. Of course it changes my plans because I was did we go deal with it that's the question do we go deal with it or do we just build some defenses and leave it we should build some defenses if I'm being perfectly honest with you that's almost a has to happen sort of thing because we're gonna have to deal with them eventually. So, well, let's go. Let's go look and see. I love you. Can just drive over the belts. It's so funny. Let's go have a look. See, just this. Just if they're not that big of a deal, maybe we can wipe them out and uh, wash our hands of the entire equation altogether. Maybe. I need, fish I need an Alamo. Don't really have enough ammunition for an Alamo, but I got some drones. We'll do two turrets. Should be enough. Grab some fish. And then I don't 
remember how many turrets I can have, but just grab a bunch of them. Ah, fuck. Okay, so I can only have 15. Am I not selected on? Oh, god damn it. I stopped for a fraction of a second to think and see if I even had my machine gun set and that fucked me up. Alright. And the answer was no. No, I didn't have my machine gun set. Herg! Herg, herg, merg, herg. ammunition here, so we got some armor piercing shit. I suppose I gotta bring the pistol because I don't really have anything else to. I uh, got distracted. Trying to make sure. I think I was. I think tab. I don't. Space is the attack button, I think. He's the one that will attack anything you target. The good news is they're small enough. I think we can still go in there and mop them up, but I just got to be careful doing it. You know, it's not going to hurt. We're limited on stone still anyway, so... There's no harm in grabbing it while we can. Oh yeah, there's uranium there. Absolute tiny ass amount of it, but there is uranium. I forget about that uranium. Can't mine it without creating something dangerous for us to hold on to, so we're going to ignore it. But it is nice to know that it's there. Alright, let's... Wow, that was not smart. Oh, here we go again. I'm an idiot and uh, don't know how to fight the bugs without being an idiot. So, yeah, this is why I don't fight the Terminids in Helldivers. People get all pissy when you don't when you fight the same thing over and over again. I don't fight the Termin I don't fight Terminids because I hate bugs. For some reason, the minute they're bugs, I suck at fighting them. Give me a machine any day and I can fight. I could. I'm John Connor. I can take out the Terminators, damn it. I'm not Ripley. I can't take out biological enemies. Unless they're human, and then I can. It's not in my nature, man. I don't, I don't fight bugs. My name is Bug. I don't fight bugs. My nickname is Bug. My childhood nickname is. I don't fight them. They're my people. Sort of. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that should have given us our machine gun back. So, I guess we just oops, poisoned. No, 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 god damn it. Might need a turret closer. I don't know why I do this to myself. It's a very simple, logical thing. It's not it's not this grand expedition, this terrifying thing that I can't figure out. It, it's it's quite logical, really. It should be fairly simple. 
easy even to figure out. And yet for me, there's a disconnect. There's a removal of the synapses in my brain that allows me to do it the correct way. I have to go in with the bots. I can't go in on my own. I'm not a tough man. I'm a weak little pudgy man. Look at how tiny and weak my my pudgy man is. He runs like he's a po Pillsbury Doughboy. Look at him. Can I grab some extra fish? It's like, you maybe, yes. Swim closer, little fishies. I will consume you for sustenance. So I should be able to rush in quickly. That move out. And then set up closer. Testing closer. Suppose we can pull off closer. All right, cool. So we've got the machine gun. Uh, oh, excuse me, that came out of nowhere for me. Nope, too close. about just behind that. Seems like we can do that. Okay. Luckily this is a smaller nest, so once we take out the spitters we should be able to We should be able to deal with what's left. And then you know what? We may just build a massive fortification right there. Like it doesn't even need to be back here. We can just put a wall, wall set up right there. Put some thick ass double layer guns. Maybe even the flame. Maybe we'll even have the flamethrowers ready by then. That's a bottleneck. They, they could theoretically come down here, maybe. Otherwise, they'd have to go around. But they're going to take the shortest path, which will be right there. That might be something we do. We'll have to see. But first... What the fuck? I picked up the fish! Did oh my god, I didn't have the fish in my hand. Well, maybe the guns will get the job done. Or the turrets. How? How did I... This is why! This is why... This is why I suck! Oh my god, that was... Ugh. And here we go now, another like, the first 15 or 20 minutes of this video, I was supposed to be setting up chemical science. I'm now fighting bugs to get my shit back. <laughs> oh, Factorio, God of Factorio, how I have you forsaken me. Why am I a dumbass? Is the That's the main one. That's, that's, that's the main one. You know, I thought at first, when I realized that the bugs had been turned down at the beginning of this, I thought maybe, maybe that would make this a little too easy for me. Little did I know I'd be my own worst enemy. It wouldn't make it too easy. In fact, it might even still be too difficult. <laughs> 
need to build walls everywhere with all the guns everywhere with all the ammunition everywhere and just never leave and be nice and cozy behind my walls that's what I need to do can you get closer there you go good fish well it sounds like uh, yeah the good news is, despite the bullshit that that was, the gun turrets lasted long enough to kill off what was left, so. That should take care of that. Alright, so let's collect our stuff then. Got. Put that away. I still want a flamethrower, I still want a grenade, a rocket launcher. Those require explosives, that requires crude oil and steel. It's really? I thought that was processed further. Shit. We could set up a flamethrower right now. We could set up flamethrower fuel right now. I thought that was far, far more in depth than it was. So, that might be what we do with some of our chemical things, but first, first we need to figure out, what we're going to do about our water situation. I suppose we could just pipe it over. Can you transport water in a train? Is that a thing you could do? Mad crazy thought. I know there's a far simpler way of doing this and that uh, everyone else in the, everyone watching's probably gone, why, why are you wasting your damn time doing it this way? It's, it's so stupid. I don't care. I've got an idea I want to test. And by God, I'm going to test it. So. Here we go. Just put it down somewhere. There you go. I don't know if we're going to use that side, but I guess just in case we'll put a signal there. So that way we can utilize it if we need to for more sp more space or whatever. But we're going to do this. I need a train station. I need two train stations for my ridiculous idea. And I know it's a ridiculous idea because I probably could just freaking do anything else but this. But, when have I ever done things the right way? So, my thought... Is the most accessible source of water we have is down here. If we go over there, we have to set up defense. Well, we gotta set up defenses up there anyway. Yeah, that's the shortest route. Let's just do that. I don't even know if you can do this. I don't know. I have never actually tried to do water. So I guess we'll see if this works out or not. It'll be interesting if it does, if you can though. So I need engines, which I think are right here. Cool. I need just two. That'll do. And we're gonna go here.
Uh, I can't wait to have Cliff removing explosives. I know we're kind of a ways from that, but it's going to be really nice to have that. I'm just a touch tired of having to fits and futs around uh, cliffs. And I guess the flamethrower will be nice too because we can burn trees down. Although that I'm nervous about. I don't like doing that in general. Because... Uh, well, A, the trees can always be used for extra fuel. Yeah, it takes you a fucking forever to cut them all down, but fuel's fuel, man. If you're with me on it, you're with me. Fuel is fuel. But uh, the other thing, of course, is the out of con the concern about the out-of-control wildfires. Because I have had a world of Factorio get completely by a wildfire because not only did it burn away all the trees which meant there was nothing absorbing the pollution but then I uh... yeah I like that Whoop. it burned away all the pollution and then it like because all the pollution was going everywhere it aggroed everybody Everyone was angry. Just a tad bit angry. Okay, so we're going to do that. We can utilize... Fill in some of these smaller holes, I suppose. And then I guess we need a pump, offshore pump. And we, we really, so one, two, three, four, five. We need five of those. Come over here. We really only need one of the offshore deals. Where's the train station? There it is. We can go. So hold on. The train's backwards. All right, hang on a minute. I think the train's backwards. Unless I'm thinking it's backwards and I'm wrong, but I'm certain it's backwards. Yeah, that's like that, like that, like that. So then the train station should go. Wait a minute. No, no, nope. I am wrong. I've got it backwards. should fix my issue. What really? One more? Alright. Oh for fuck fuck you. Ah, the 
This is so stupid. Come on, line up. Fine, I'll redo the whole damn thing. There. You happy now? The whole stretch there, the whole thing. Just had to get redone because you were special. All right. It's a little janky. As to be expected. We could make it a little bit less, I suppose, if we do this. That's correct. Yep, there it goes. Okie dokie. So that should now open this up to get water over. I could pipe it over, but that would be annoying. Whereas this is just that little bit extra that is obviously needed. Wait. What? Yeah, I could just... No, 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 no. We're going to do it this way. We're going to do it this way. It's going to be janky as fuck, but we're going to do it this way. Because it's hauling water, we're going to try and make these trains blue. I don't think I had a blue for coloring anyway, but whatever. Blue tankers, it'll be a water train. There we are. Let's see, where are the tankers? I guess I'm going to need five more pumps, actually. I thought I... I forgot that I need to have it come on and off. If nothing else and we can't do water like this, then um, at the very least, we got ourselves another location to do crude oil. Because we could pump crude oil from here over and just have two out two inputs for the crude oil. Which is why I was just thinking we'll just do it this way, because even as obnoxious as this is, regardless of whether it works, it opens us up to having more shit. To work with if we end up not being able to if we end up not being able to haul water but I can't imagine we wouldn't be able to I need a way to get fuel down here too for the train Got an official fuel box. Uh, we got an attack. Where? Probably up here still. I don't see anywhere else. Unless it would be down here. Nope. I suppose what we could do is just do. Unloved. Really? No mineable resources there. Okay. 
starting to run out, run out of steam up here too with all of this stuff. Done. I suppose that might be something else we need to do too is start getting more inputs for our basic resources because it's starting starting area is starting to run out uh, maybe not we got a ways to go I mean we'll, we'll be absorbing a lot of material here once we get the science back up and running so it's kind of a yes it's kind of a catch-22 we're gonna need it but Maybe not for a while, and then when we need it, need it, we're gonna need it, need it. Which is kind of a ridiculous way of saying that, but it's true nonetheless. And I think, because my genius is undeniable, everyone understands exactly what I meant. That should do fuel. Now we pick the stations and cube is the first one. Add condition, empty cargo. Then it goes to a station that doesn't exist. Because I forgot to put it down. I think we can put a station there, to be honest. We could do... Oh, maybe not. I don't have a straight enough stretch. We can go alongside here, can't we? Oh no, because it's at a weird angle. That might work. So that's... Super Sips Fan 3 million. All right, cool, 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 cool. Send you there. Oh, yep. Yeah, forgot to add. Wait. Okay. Uh, full cargo. And because we're not making this one run munitions, we're just going to have it rock up and fuel up with water and that's going to be that or fill up with water I don't know why I said fuel that's not the right word we only need one offshore pump that I don't even think that needs power does it yeah no it doesn't so in fact we might even be able to just do it on this side of the train Nope, won't go in with the train being crooked like that. Damn it. So let me pull this up. Because what I think we're going to do then is... Let me grab the station. Can't put it on the incline. So the station has to be there. So what about doing one locomotive in front and then the five cars? Can I really not pump off of that? Hmm. I can't go any more up there. This cliff really did kind of screw me up. 
least by plan up. All right, you know what? Let's. Okay, now I'm seeing things because I thought that just flashed red like I was under attack, but maybe not. Let's just go with, I still want two locomotives because they it works better that way for speed. And we'll just do four instead. So cube, uh, weight condition, empty cargo. And this one's now called Dr. Vinku. And its weight condition is full cargo. Dr. Vinku, that is a weird flipping name. Get that fuel, and then we need the pumps. One, two, three, four. We need power. Got to get power. That should do both of those. That one and then that one. Which that was dumb to do, so we gotta get them moved away so we can. There we go. This will help reach out somewhat further. Power is not that far. Come on, there it goes. There. VAR! It's done. It's powered. I'll come back and probably replace that later because that's. A waste of the good power poles, but it's usable for now. That's what we want to get moving. I can do busybody work later. I'm always nervous about doing busybody work because uh, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to get attacked while doing. Oh, yep, I guess we can. No. All right, well, I guess we can't do water then. All right, so let's just absorb all this back up then. Yeah, I'm always afraid of doing busybody work because, uh, well, I need the pump there and left any. The pump can stay because we'll just pump it. We'll just pipe it over, I guess, physically. Um, I'm always afraid of doing busybody work because of like I, I'll, I'll of course something exciting will happen when I'm not recording like a big fucking attack that nearly wipes me out or you know that sort of so far it hasn't g happened that way but I'm always afraid of losing something super exciting because of, I'm doing busy like literally just clear like literally all I'm doing for two three hours clearing trees picking up buildings that I want to rework like I'm gonna leave most of this rail track and just pick that up later as busybody work. There's no reason for me to move it right now. Um, you know, just the countless things that I can do, I'm always afraid that I'll, I won't be recording and something amazing is gonna, or like stupidly cool or whatever is gonna happen. And I won't be recording because I'll be busy doing stuff that no one wants to see. This is honestly kind of what I was hoping to avoid. Because this is going to be... This is going to be moderately obnoxious, I can already tell. It's right about 
there will be even with that. Let's go take it down there. Ah, whatever. It'll do what it will do, I suppose. that gets water there. We can pipe it elsewhere if we need to. I want to get this going right now. Do it. I've got 15 chemical things, so let's go. I'm thinking of doing one, two, three, four, five like that. And then down here, one, two, three, four, Five and then just even them back out, I guess. There, perfect. Okay, so first I need to go get some more. S not steel. Well, I could use steel, but I need some more plate. Iron plate is what I need to work with here first. Because I need more of these, a couple of these, but even more of those. Nice to see this running at full tilt, or sort of at full tilt. Okay, steel train has not left. Why? Oh, it has. It hasn't returned. Why? It is awaiting being empty. How many engines? 2,000. This needs to be... 7. That's why that train's not doing nothing. Okay. Now it's doing something. We're going to go ahead, like I said earlier, since we got it set up anyway. There's really no reason to waste it. Because the other thought I was having too what, about this was we could use this to help also set up flamethrower fuel. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out later. Oh, that's white. We gotta go the other way. So, cube, add weight condition, empty cargo, add station, oil run, add weight condition, full cargo. All right, so now it's just gonna go get uh, crude oil, which is gonna be perfect. And we built a bunch of these, so we might as well. Put a couple down here for added storage.
that should put, yep, perfect. Alright, not bad, not bad. What's that meme? Not bad, not bad. Now you. Alright. You will be making sulfur. Water can be inputted here. Question mark. Yes. Okay. Because then what we'll have the water do is. thinking was to that, which will get it close. And then we gotta get it over that, so we need one of these to go like so, and then we can just, I suppose we could actually do this. Okay, so that should be producing then sulfur. By the fuck ton. Awesome. Crap. Where's the power pole? Power poles are as far forward as they can be, so another, another row of them is going to be coming in. So, alright. And then... That's the input, it's on the opposite end. Oh god, okay. Okay, we'll do it as we need. So. I think. Just like that. Oh my gosh, did I do it? Because then the... Yes, I did. Oh, ho, 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 I got the correct direction. Oh, Lord, I got the correct direction. I did it. Okay, but we do need longhand. I noticed I forgot to add those last time. I can't believe I did that. I usually... I usually... Don't pull that off so well. I managed to. That's awesome. All right, so then let's go with long arm of the law. So that got us that. Now these will be producing plastic. And the plastic can come out on both sides because they're going to one specific location at the moment. 
Oh my gosh, we had a regular belt. Okay, let me go grab some more. Yes. Plastic. Yeah, okay, so we can... We can live with the plastic being on both sides of the belt. And plastic needs water too, doesn't it? Question mark. Question mark, question mark. Do I know, do I know? I don't, I don't. Question mark, question mark. Do I have anything to throw away while I'm here? Accidentally made a wooden box. Nope. Kaboom. Alright, so this one's making plastic. Ah, crap. I need plastic. Nope. Plastic. There we go. Ah. Ah, plastic is just that. The petroleum gas. Okay. Well, that makes that easier. I suppose that means we could also just do this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Coal. That's right. Uh, that was the whole point of this debacle. Um, so, scratch this. But only partially. Coal. Coal, coal. We need to feed coal over here. I need coal, and I got an access to it right here. Which is almost perfect. Okay, more. Oh, I've got, I've got those. Never mind. I need more of these. I'm gonna need more regular belts too. Oh, the coal. My heart sinks every time I see that yellow thing flash up, and then it's like, oh, that's right, that's right, it's just the north. It's just the north being a bunch of pains in my asses again. We can handle that. Deep breaths, deep breaths. So if I drop one, oh no, it's not sulfur that we need, it's plastic, that's right. I was going to say, if I drop one sulfur in, will that activate it enough to give us one chemical science and technically make it work? But no, because I don't have enough. So how do I want to feed this through? Maybe I should work backwards. So I'm thinking then if let's move that. Honestly, it'd be obnoxious in a way, but it you could do that. You need a bunch more of those, but yeah, that'll do. Sort of. All right, all right. Okay, so.
Now it's a matter of how do I want to get... Ah, let's just spaghettify it. We spaghettify everything else anyway, so... Oh, actually... Wouldn't feed through there. Boy, I really made this tight, didn't I? Alright. So, can I go up one more here? No, but can I go forward, then up one more? Yeah, there we go. There we go, now we're talking. So then... There we go. Okay. That'll make that work. Feed coal here. Which will be fed into the system like this. put the power poles on this side of the equation. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Why is this broken? Oh, that's why it's broken. Okay. Now it's less broken. Now I need to figure out... Oh, I did it to myself again, didn't I? I'm a little too tight on getting things in. Let's try first setting up. Oh, you know what? I think I just figured it out. Then make sure everybody gets... Ha 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 ha! That'll do. Right? Oh, that's right, they're already full of coal. And that should start feeding the advanced circuits, which will start showing up down here. It's gonna take them fucking forever to do that because we don't have near enough production. And it's ironically plastic that we don't have near enough production. Well, I guess technically we got chemical science. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad, actually. Um, I don't want to end the episode, but it's also running almost an hour 14 already. Okay, so plastic is doing fine. Scratch what, my, what I said earlier. Plastic's doing fine. We need... We need just more advanced production, advanced circuit production overall. I know I can't get a regular one over, but can I get a... If I got rid of that one for the advanced production, we could get this fed over here. We could open up a second line of manufacturing. No, that might not be a bad idea. Do we have any more crafted already? No. Oof, what are we short on? Oh, regular plate? Alright. If 
I could just put 10 more into production, I think we'll be... That's just for other things. We'll definitely need, I'm thinking next time, next episode, we are absolutely going to have to beef up, actually, you know what, if we do this, we're going to absolutely have to beef up our copper production, and our, probably our power plant. It's, it's, it's kind of not even going to be a question because I think that's lined up. Hey, got it. Um, it's not even a question because... But we're, we we need the cop. The copper is going to be what's going to slow us down next. Obviously, as you can kind of see, it's already doing so. There's another two that aren't mining anything. Three that aren't mining anything. Resources, scrap the belts, no more resources. That one's almost done. Yeah, we're gonna have to have to beef up this. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just leave that the way it is. As you can see, I already went ahead and did it, and just add a coal uh, copper train that runs up. I just haven't figured out yet if I want to make this the return. I gotta see how much room I'm gonna have because this might be the return track, which means it's gonna loop this way and connect this way rather than that way. Unless I end up making it a bulb. I don't know, we'll see. Because there's a lot of room over here to do a station. Maybe not so much there. Might have to rework the belts while I'm at it. We'll see. We'll do that next episode. This episode, we're going to finish off by amping up our advanced circuit production. It's a new... I knew those pipes were going to be obnoxious. They were going to come back one way or another, and they were going to be obnoxious. And here they are. They are obnoxious. So, whatever. We'll make a weird gapping in the... We'll make a weird gapping here and just do it this way. This will be an output here. Then we'll have an output here. Inserters and output. 
outputs. We need the long arms. Putting on backwards because that's how that rolls. Backwards, baby, backwards. Okay, that should. Should the theory be it? practice, it looks like it. Okie dokie. Looks like our science, yeah. Our science is fully going. So now we can come into here and let's just go with the, let's go with that, then that. Um, we'll do that so we get the shotgun. Um, and then I sp advanced oil processing. Um, uranium processing and that one, and then damage. Okie dokie. And I think. Yep, it's all going according to plan. Two more sciences and we're on our way. It's looking good. Feeding the system, feed the machine, baby, feed the machine. The big, gigantic, messy ass machine. All right, so. The next episode, we're going to have a couple of goals. I'm going to give myself a couple of goals, and I'm going to avoid bugs. I'm going to avoid bugs with every fiber of my being. Because I'm tired of wasting a good chunk of my recording time dealing with bugs. What we're going to do is... I'm going to finish checking in here to make sure these are all good. What we're going to do is we're going to rework up here. I think what we're going to do is literally just chop it there, tear all this up, reorganize it. I've got an idea. I want to fill in the rest of this, and I'm going to build a thing around this and make this a whole deal so much better. And then what we'll probably do is I'll clear out some trees while I'm at it, build an actual defensive ring of walls and that sort around it. Um, in the middle here, I'm thinking we've probably used up quite a bit of spacing down here. Uh, it may not be a bad idea, annoying as it may be, to pipe some crude oil. We'll probably leave this as the input for the crude oil. These two trains just go to the station. We'll like run a pipe somewhere along here, up into here, and we'll have some additional oil processing in here, in this box that we haven't touched since the start of the episode. The other thing we'll need to do is rework this. Um, I'm thinking to myself, I think I'm gonna just scrap this whole thing instead of leaving it. We're gonna leave the railroad where it's at. We'll run the train up 
run it over and then back down probably I would almost say just go up through and then back down which means we're probably going to have this section of that trade be the re the be the in entry lane so the train goes up around and then back out and it will connect with the out track somewhere somehow I'll figure it out where was the attack I swear every now and then we have an attack and I just don't I see the flashing thing but then I don't know where it's at down here is probably done for now I'll maybe go pick that all up because this is basically engine and steel manufacturing that's all we needed it for I don't really foresee any need to expand it any further for the time being so we'll probably just leave it um, Le Stony Boy is gonna need some work because he's probably got a couple of miners that are out but I'm wrong it looks like he may not actually okay well, then I guess we'll just leave Lee Stony Boy alone. Uh, this train is holed up because we're not doing anything there. Which is good. That's fine. We got those three trains doing their thing. We got this one doing its thing. You know what? The engines, we don't need it to be maxed out. Let's just do... And then this coal train. Okay, so we got a coal train. I forgot we had a coal train already. That is ideal because then what we can do is run the coal train. Maybe we'll set up a station for that up here. Run it into there, get some coal pop piped in there from some elsewhere. We got some things to do. We got some planning to do. I'm trying not to fill this in too much because I know all this is going to eventually go away. But we can expand the foundries out from there. Might rework the foundries again if you can believe it. I don't know. I might just leave those as is and build a secondary foundry. I'm kind of tired of constantly doing the same thing over and over again because I'm an idiot. Mic off. <clears throat> Mic on. So, yeah. I think we're probably good. I, we got a decent enough plan, I think, laid out. And uh, I think that's... There's probably not much else to really say. So the next episode, we're going to... The next episode, I think we're going to focus on the power first. Give some more time for the copper to run through its course, because... What we need to do is have as little of the leftover copper to deal with as possible. I'm hoping by the time we get the power plant done, we could basically just roll up and scrap everything in the copper section. All the all the furnaces, all the drills, everything. Rework the whole, sh the whole sh kit and caboodle, as they say. So that one's done. This has got to, this can't be that much far, this can't be that far away. It's got to be, it's 60k, so, do we have a mining speed increase? Yes, we do. Let's make that the next one. 
increase yield from all mining drills. That's exactly what we want. And I suppose we'll do the rest of what we were going to do earlier. I think, can I get one in here? I can get one to fit there. I'm trying to fit... Actually, you know what? Let's make this as efficient as possible so it does actually dig through. So that should be... That should be the remaining patch of copper. That's, that, that's, that's all of it, right? Yes, that's the whole patch. So, slightly offset, we can get one, two, three, four right there. Probably fit three like that, plus two right there. Any up here? Nope, wouldn't take it. This one will do a thousand there. Could take it there, but wouldn't. That one will get extra. That one will do extra. Anything here? Yes. And yes. And then what we'll do is just. Actually, rotate that one and just have it go like that. Now we run power to everything. Which I think we can do. I believe this has got enough reach from here. Yes, it does. Perfect. So I think that is, as of right now, the most efficient we can get out of that patch of copper. And we just finished, oh, we're going to finish mining productivity next. How much is that gonna increase? It doesn't say. Oh, mining productivity plus 10. Awesome. These all should actually pretty much run out right about the same time. Nothing's at like a hundred. Everything's a, a thousand or more. Ironically doing that, I think we uh, temporarily increased our overall copper output. Let's have a look-see here. Items over 10 minutes. Uh, copper. Yeah, we did. We were sitting at about, uh, uh, 3.7 a second or something. I'm not exactly sure. Now we're up to four. Yeah, we, we did. Not bad. Over 10 hours, these, these are been our kills and our deaths. We've got almost 5,000 small biters killed. Dang, man. That's cool. Anybody damaged up here? Nope. All good. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, everyone's already full up, I suppose. 
do that for that one and then and we're barely using anything up here. That's awesome. It's good to know. It's good good protection. So I've got some iron ore to deposit. So we'll drop it here. And I'm thinking, so what copper are we gonna go get? I don't wanna go north, because I'll have to deal with the bugs up north. That one's unfortunately close to some bugs. Could reach out for that one. I think we're going to have to go for this one. I have to deal with some bugs to, do, to get to that one. I'm trying to avoid fighting as much as I can for now because I don't have... My military complex is not that great. Oh, but we can unlock the tank? Okay, let's do that. You know what? Let's go scout out. I've got some gun turrets. I've got some ammunition. Let's go scout out that southern copper mine. one down here the 9.2 mil I'm thinking that'll probably end up being our easiest one to deal with ah, production science poison capsule combat shotgun Is that a, that's a fully auto shotgun isn't it I'll make it just for the sake of making it. I don't have enough copper to make. Okay, well. Thought I had more copper than that, but I guess I don't. That's actually, ironically, the problem. Alright, let's go take a look see here. What kind of bug base are we dealing with down here? More than I thought, more than I thought. Move, eat, bastard. Fuck. Boy, I just shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. Well, I, God damn it! I knew that that's gonna be a problem. Okay, well here we go. Last half of the episode, we're gonna go fight some bugs. Need some copper for the radar. I want to make a radar. I need to get grab some walls. We've got the gun turrets that are down there already because I died. I don't. Hand grenades suck. Take up an inventory slot.
and unfortunately we took up a lot of copper doing that so 15 should be enough to get me down there because I'm basing it off of that so we should be good Maybe a little less stupid this time. Let's see here. Yeah, because then there's a bug base right there. That's going to be a bit of a f pain in the ass, I think. I'm suspecting it is going to be difficult. Born in my side kind of situation. Well, I can't go down there and fight that thing because, well, that's bullshit. I can't go down there and fight it because it would kill me instantly. I could put myself behind walls and survive long enough to clear the stragglers out, maybe? seen that coming. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're f oh, they're just systematically tearing down the walls. Okay, I thought they were moving up towards... Never mind. Can't I make modular? Oh yeah, now that I got plastic, I can make modular armor. Which is better. Yes, it is better than heavy armor. But I need 150 copper plates. Ah, of course I do. Stop taking the damn ears. There we go. This will probably be the best way of doing this. Boom. And then I suppose I could make Now I'm cooking. 
Yeah. Yeah, that worked out good. Alright, so. have an option for a weapon, but I guess let's make another machine gun. I didn't really know how that wall thing was going to work out, to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't think it was going to necessarily succeed, but I will say I didn't think it was going to go that poorly. So the problem at hand is going to be, is there still, are they still puppy dog in the copper where I can't get close and catch one of my bodies or did they go back to base and I can maybe fetch one of the bodies that I left behind and it's looking like I might be able to fetch one of the bodies they've left behind which isn't this one that's not a body it's just my remains of the radar Okay, well that will be that. Oh, I was making, that's right, I was making gun turrets. So I could actually have an Alamo and deal with these guys. down with me though I don't think so Let's start off with just a doubled up wall Not be the most ideal, but it'll get us started. I'll grab up some of this so I can go down the other corner. I want the other corner. I want the horseshoe shape to be more or less complete rather than larger, so we can lose some of this. rest of the walls, I suppose, can just go right back where they were at. Like so. The armor should almost be complete. I suppose we just wait. Okay, so... Got the gun turrets up, we've got the wall up. I've got no way of getting down there without being completely obliterated. Because I don't have any fish. I've got no weapon with, well I've got my machine gun. I gotta just wait again for a little bit longer until things start finishing up in there. Oh, 
How am I getting solar power for my shield? That's just, I mean, I'm not complaining, but that's a bit weird. It's nighttime. Well, I suppose the sun is coming up. Alright, so I guess we'll just wait for some of the combat drones. We'll go try and fetch our gear. Mining is going to be done. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I even try. I don't even know why I tried to make short episodes. Because I, I did. I booted this up. I'm like, you know what? Let's get some chemical science going. We'll be good and done in like 45 minutes. And then... I just gotta stop. I gotta just stop pretending like I'm gonna make a short episode ever. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's gonna be it. Not much else I can really do and just pray that it's enough. I can attract their attention. Run away, run away. Talk about breaking the walls down very quickly there. Where is my corpse? See blue, please tell me my corpse did not de oh my god. My corpse de Oh no, it despawned. Oh, are you serious? Fuck. I don't even remember all that I had. Bond, because you'd see a you'd see a little blue corpse somewhere. I didn't even know it could do that. I had never had a corpse despawn on me. Oh shit! All right, I gotta take a break. I'm frustrated as hell, and now I'm restarting all my inventory. All right, well, thank you all for watching. I've been Katie Kyon. In the next episode, we're going to prioritize working on the power plant and copper. We're going to get our copper up and operational. All, all the miners, that's what I had. All the miners, all of the, yeah, God, we lost so much there. Well, I guess we need to try... I guess I need to try and stop being less as stupid. Play this game a little more smartly. Ah, oh, that's just that's heartbreaking. I, I seriously, there was so much we had in our inventory. I don't even remember all of it. All right, well. At the very least, we've got established a opening, uh, an opening down there. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a long fight. I'm thinking that does not look good. Neither does any of that, because we're gonna have to establish a fortification down there with 
munitions and, and uh, lots of guns and all that stuff. What we need to do next, I think, start putting some effort in getting some flamethrower turrets out on the field. But, like I said, next episode, we're going to be prioritizing the power plant and the copper manufacturing process. Because the simple fact of the matter is that's where we are hurting primarily the copper. What? Where are we dying? Oh, really? You sneaky bastard. You snuck right past. Fuck. Alright, well, let's fix that then. Snuck right past our defenses. Okay, well, we're starting to reach that point in the game where things are going to be getting interesting. And we're going to have to start playing a more defensive... We're going to have to start getting our military industrial complex up and going. Is what we're going to have to get doing. Because if we don't, shit like that's going to start happening again more and more. Yeah, we need copper so bad. Must have just walked right through there. Didn't even bother stopping. That ugly bastard. Let's make four more of these. Let's go grab some belts and some splitters. It's good to have modular armor, though. Glad that we got a, we got there because uh, now we can have mod mods to the armor and get get ourselves hit it out to survive better. See, that's going to be producing railroad track. I remember that. Uh, this is all still working. That one's almost done, though. Yeah, and the time it took me to die repeatedly, we've actually managed to get through most of what we were doing there. out this way. Do we have... I guess we got enough to do that, at least. And we need five turrets. So we've got... We're going to spread them out a little bit. The attacks aren't that bad at the moment, so... Let's just spread them out enough to make sure we've got things covered. And we'll go from there. Make sure we got enough ammunition. All right, I think we're probably good to go for now. Again. So the power plant, maybe bolstering our defenses and working on copper is what we're gonna do in the next episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. I've been Katie Kim. I will see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.